with you. And Brittany, thank you very much. We'll check back with you in a few minutes. While some people will honor Martin Luther King Jr. by giving back for a day of service, others will be out on the streets. And Channel 3's Caroline Corrigan joins us live from downtown Chattanooga. That's where organizers are getting ready to kick off the 50th Memorial March. Caroline, how's the crowd? Well, hey, Lori, that bitter cold weather isn't stopping anyone here. People are already gathering for this march, which starts in about an hour. I was able to sit down with one of the organizers earlier today. She says while they do have a lot to celebrate today, she does think there is work that still needs to be done. Nearly 57 years after Martin Luther King Jr. gave this speech on the steps of Washington, D.C. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country tears of thee. Members of the Chattanooga community are preparing for the 50th annual Memorial March. The parade in March is a remembrance of those that have come before us that actually gave their litter blood, sweat, and tears. Pastor Charlotte Williams with the Unity Group of Chattanooga says it's an opportunity for people to reflect on the work Dr. King devoted his life to. He was the one that was able to show us that if we do not change, then we will all perish together. A key leader in the civil rights movement, Dr. King helped organize the Montgomery bus boycott in 1955, where African Americans refused to ride city buses to protest segregated seating. He would go on to lead several other protests like the march from Selma to Montgomery, pushing for African Americans to have the right to vote. Rights Dr. King fought for and ultimately died for, but she says the fight is not over yet. The work begins after the march, that people will be able to see I have to make a difference, that if Dr. King was able to make a difference, then we can make a difference as well. She says there are still issues that need to be addressed. He will be very upset over the educational system that we have, the housing that we have, the unemployment, the police brutality. Now, portions of Georgia Avenue and MLK Boulevard will be closed during this time. I'm told this march does start at 1 o'clock, and as you can see behind me, people are already starting to gather. But they will march up MLK Boulevard to Olivet Baptist Church, and that starts at 1 o'clock. And the roads should be reopened by 3 o'clock, but you can expect a big crowd here today. Reporting live in downtown Chattanooga, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.